Hey everybody, this is Pat with Brain Trust Interactive. I want to show you a quick tutorial today on how to use Integromat as your only form handler so that you can actually post form data to Integromat, perform all the automations that you want, and then redirect to a thank you page. So this works really well if you don't have, you know, one of those really nice uh, form plugins like Gravity Forms or Ninja Forms or something like that for WordPress or if you're just using plain HTML or something else or if you just want a little simple form on your site that can handle uh, putting customer data into uh, a Google Sheet and then sending a text and then, all, you know, adding them to a MailChimp or something like that. So the idea here is that you would have a form just like this like I've got so typically you'd have a name email and phone number and then what you would do is this form would be posted and it would go to Integromat Integromat performs all the automations and then it would actually redirect to a thank you page so this is how you're gonna set things up so I've got this form available it's uh, the link is available in the comments and you can download it and what it looks like is like this it's just some really basic HTML it's done in bootstrap and right here, if you edit this in an HTML editor or a text editor, I prefer Sublime Text, which is what I'm using right now. Uh, you could basically copy this form and put it anywhere and then be able to post to Integromat. So there's a couple of ways to, or a couple of things that we need to do to get this form to actually post to Integromat and redirect, okay? So the way we have it built is that we have the form, uh, the action is actually posting to an Integromat hook. So the form action is set here. So if you're actually creating a form in an HTML editor or in WordPress or something like that, you would build this out like this. So you create the, uh, the, the uh, post action is gonna go to your Integromat form. You can post any data that you want inside the form. Uh, what you would need to make sure you have is you need to have a field, a hidden field called redirect and then that redirect would be, uh, the value of that field would be where you want the user to go once they submit the information. That's all there is to it. Now, I've also got in the, the comments that they're in the zip file, is the Integromat scenario that you can use to actually uh, handle the posting. So what you would do is you go to your Integromat uh, account here and you say create a new scenario, and then you just skip and what you do is you come down here to the more button and you say import a blueprint. Now what I would do is I would choose the file and I would pick the uh, Integromat form handler JSON that I've got right here. And once I import that and say save, it's ready to go. Now the first thing that you need to do is come down here and click on this clock icon and set the uh, webhook to trigger immediately so that way it will trigger when it gets data. So the next thing that you need to do is you need to come over here and you need to create a webhook. I'm just going to call this um, lead form handler. Okay, just like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the address to the clipboard and I'm going to go back to my uh, little basic lead form here and I'm going to highlight the original uh, Integromat hook and I'm going to paste the new one in there and I'm going to save this form. Now what I need to do is just open it up in my browser and I'm going to put in my name, put in my email address, put in my phone number and then I'm going to click the form. Now, the first time it'll say accepted. That means that Integromat got the data. So if we come over here and look at the data, there you go, you see it's successfully determined and it's okay. Now, this is a very, very simple uh, Integromat scenario. And the reason it's simple is because I don't know what you want to put in between the receiving hook and the uh, response hook. In between here, you can add you know, putting data into Google Sheets, you can add uh, an Integromat uh, a module for sending somebody to MailChimp or ActiveCampaign or anything else, ManyChat, whatever you'd like to do, that's up to you. So all you would do is you would, uh, to add additional modules, you could just say unlink this and then you could add, let's say like, you know, Google Sheet and um, just add that there and then, you know, add a row and you could plug it in there 
and then you could uh, let's say we're going to send somebody a text with uh, Twilio like this and you could add that and send a message like that and then you could um, you know hook up the last response the whole idea is that you have uh, the initial webhook that takes the data and you have the response webhook that's going to actually redirect us to the uh, page that we want so I'm going to go ahead and delete these those were just examples and now we've got the uh, the uh, webhook that takes the data and we've got the webhook that responds now you won't need to edit the webhook that responds but I'm going to show you how this redirection works what we're doing is we're sending a status of 301 which is uh, in you know web server speak that uh, means that we're actually redirecting uh, the the uh, page once uh, somebody submits and all we have to do is we come down here to this custom header and you get there by uh, when you edit the webhook you click on the show advanced settings you add the key location and then you add that value redirect remember that we had uh, this field here says redirect and the value right now is just going to Google but uh, whatever value you put in will uh, be redirected to once this webhook answers so I click save uh, and say OK and save the uh, the webhook then I want to turn it on and you might want to rename it you know um, let's just call it form handler so we know what we're looking at and we're gonna try it out so now we're going to close that again let's open up our lead form and you remember that the lead form is pointing to our brand new Integromat webhook and if I submit this information it should redirect me to Google so watch this I'm gonna put my name in put my email in I'm gonna put my phone number in and then I'm going to send it and let's watch and see what happens there we go we just redirected to Google isn't that cool so uh, we can actually look at the history of this thing now. We can come over here to this uh, scenario. We can look at the form handler and we can look at the history and we can see that we actually got an operation happened. We can see the custom webhook. We can see the data that came through. There it is. And then we can see that the webhook actually responded and redirected us to Google. Is that not cool? So what you're going to do, though, uh, remember is you know this webhook will take the data and then it immediately will redirect. What you do in between is completely up to you. Now that you have uh, Integromat set up to handle any forms, you can do anything you want uh, in between those webhooks. Like I said, you could send a text, set up a calendar event, um, send you an email notification, or send a, you know a notification to yourself. Uh, do all kinds of things with that information and then redirect somebody to a thank you page. So that's all you got to do. Um, again, the, uh, the files are in the comments and I hope you enjoyed this little quick tutorial on how to use Integromat as a form handler. Thanks a lot. I'm uh, interested in seeing uh, what you think in the comments. Let me know and uh, yeah, have a good day.